Thanks everyone for joining me on Artwork by Mary. Today I'm going to take you through the making of this little landscape sketch that I did on location at a pond in Hopkinton, Massachusetts. It's a place I frequent to sketch and draw um, because I'm drawn to that little gazebo in the background, of course, but also the lily pads and the reflections. So I'll give you a picture of what it, the scene actually looked like. You can see that it's a lot more monochromatic uh, or just of one color than um, how the painting ended up, and that's a good thing. You want to add something to the painting. You're not just trying to you know, duplicate what you're seeing. I was really attracted to this little spot in the front here where there is a um, little bit of sky poking through and I thought in my mind as I did it that might be something I would explore. Here's a shot of my materials. I use M. Grand watercolors and one of the things I do is I customize my watercolor palette to have some pastels in the middle section of the paints and it really helps me to move quickly on location. Here's a shot of the very first wash that I put on and I'm using gouache so I can go from dark to light, light to dark. But one of the things I like to do is preserve some of the sparkles of the paper and also the brush marks on the left where I did just the quick sloppy sketching. I think it adds a vibrancy to the final painting if you can, if the viewer can see some of your process. So I'm going to show you a view of it now comparing it to the scene in the background. Um, checking my values, meaning my darks and my lights as I go along to make sure I'm um, keeping that in check. You can almost use any color, but if your values are wrong, um, the painting will not have the depth you want. And also I'm trying to resist painting a lot of blue in the water because the pond water is quite dark. Here's a, another view of the ridiculous amount of brushes that I carry with me, when in fact I only used those two brushes there and um, to create this. And you can see I use a little misting bottle too. So here I'm, you know, looking at, geez, what is, you know, kind of dead about my painting? I started drawing in that little gazebo to get an idea of, you know, my, again, my darks and my lights. And I thought it looks kind of dead. Uh, there just wasn't enough sparkle, even though I left some of the water. I mean, sorry, the, the white of the page. Here I start putting in some blue in the sky reflected into the water, and I know that I'm kind of on to something. I start outlining the lily pads that are closest to me to, to create a shadow effect. And that's when I started thinking it's, you know, really not enough. There's still something I'm missing. And I zeroed back in on how can I add that blue in the lily pad area to give it a little more depth. And the lighting here is not that great, but it gets better. So hang with me. You'll see where that blue that I added towards the front makes a huge difference if you compare. Um, here the light's very bright, but you'll see it at the end that blue reflected in the middle part of the bottom really adds something to the painting, or at least I think it does. I also did the same with the trees in the background. I added some of that blue in the background of the trees to give me some depth there. So a better shot of it here is the finished painting. I hope you enjoyed seeing the process. If you have any questions or comments, would love for you to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks so much for joining me and if you could hit the like button and subscribe button, it would let me know that there's people out there watching and I will make more videos. I hope you enjoyed this and once again, thanks so much. Hope to see you again in the next video.